Oh man. I love this thing so much. Today's video is gonna be my first drive back in the Type R. Well, that's kind of a lie. I did take it out for about 10 minutes the other day, but I really haven't done much since we've been back here in California. I've just been kind of chilling. But I do have several interesting updates with the Type R. I have a lot of cool parts coming. There's gonna be a lot of great content on the way. That thing is loud. And I just realized that I haven't really given you guys a lot of exterior clips of this car with the new exhaust setup. Well, it's not really new anymore. I mean, that downpipe's been on for months. In this video, I'll give you a flyby or two. It is such a tight fit in here. Oh, there's an old Starbucks drink. Don't judge me, guys. The first thing I noticed right when I got back home, and I'm, I'm noticing again right now, when you first get in the Type R after driving the BRZ, it, compared to the BRZ, this feels like you're sitting in an SUV. Like this sits way, way higher and more of, just more of like an upright position. Your, your thighs, are definitely further off the floor of the car compared to the BRZ. Oh boy. Oh, I hate this stupid garage, man. But that just goes back to what I was saying in the last video. Uh, a lot of people had questions comparing the driving experience of the Type R to the Civic SIs that I've had um, and the BRZ. Eddie and I are gonna do a full ceramic coating with like industrial grade stuff very soon, or professional grade. I'm still letting it warm up, so I'm not gonna drive it hard for a minute. I miss the sound of this car. I can't wait to get an exhaust on the BRZ, which I did order an exhaust, so that should be here next Tuesday. And I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna try really hard to slap it on Wednesday morning, and then bring that video to you guys Wednesday night. But we'll see because Sunday I go back to night shift. Awesome. Some other observations. I prefer the gauge cluster like the, the this part of the dash right here over the BRZ 100%. I definitely prefer a real just old fashioned turn signal indicator. Like you actually get the click. Listen to how satisfying that is. That's awesome. Can't beat it. And if you haven't been paying attention to the BRZ videos, the reason I say that is because there's actually no hard click. It's like a soft click. And then you you have to like be really gentle with it when you're putting it back down. I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I'll show you guys what I mean next time in the car. Also, the head unit in the Type R and the, you know, all the 10 Gen Civics, much, much smaller than the one in the BRZ. It's probably smaller by I don't know, like two inches. But what I do like about the tension setup better than the BRZ is that this is slanted a little bit. So you're sitting up here and then you look down and this is slanted very slightly upward so that you can just, I don't know, you see it better. And it's kind of, it's kind of easier to maneuver. I know, first world problems, okay? I'm just telling you guys the differences that I've noticed. Yeah, the one in the BRZ, I'll show you next time in the car. It's just like totally, at a 90 degree angle. Also, in my opinion, the Type R is an easier car to drive than the BRZ. Both of them are super, super easy to drive. I mean, Vivian, she doesn't daily drive a manual, and she got in the BRZ and had no problems. I mean, she didn't stall the car once. I don't even think she's, she's never stalled the Type R either. Ugh, it's so hard to beat Honda Shifter. Honda shifters are, have always been just incredible. And I don't have a short shifter actually. This is, it's short like this stock. Hey bud, easy there. Just leaving the gym. My fellow tension owner over here, Jesse, tagged me in his story. So, I tagged him back. Clean MA Performance Exhaust, Jesse. Thanks for the tag too. Oh, I love this exhaust, man. I'm gonna bring it up to like three grand, let it decel. That's nasty, dude. 
So the updates. I'm pretty sure my new uh, Unity Performance side markers came in the mail. I'll check that when I get home. And if they are here, I'll, I'll install them at the end of the video. Other news, I saw that my guy John Vega at Fearable created a flex fuel tune for the FK8. So on his Instagram post yesterday when I saw it, I commented, I said, hey man, can you please send me an invoice? And uh, yeah, like 10 minutes later, I had an invoice for the PRL flex fuel kit. And obviously I'm gonna run that tune. Uh, here are the numbers he was able to get. About 420 wheel horsepower, that's pretty nuts. So I have to kick it back into high gear with the Type R now. I'm, I'm gonna be a busy guy the next few months, holy crap. This is, this is fun though. But before I do the flex fuel kit, I need to get some numbers down with this car. I wanna see how this performs on paper with a stage one tune. Well, it's, it's a stage two tune, but you know what I mean, on pump gas. So I sent Sergio a text today. I said, hey man, I need help making videos. I'm gonna try to get him to help me make a zero to 60 video. So he'll be able to film from the outside and also a quarter mile. And then in doing the quarter mile, I'll be able to grab the 30 to 100 because that's the draggy test that I've been using with all my cars like ever since I got a draggy. No hate, but if you're gonna blast music, don't blast country. I do really like Rascal Flats though. Oh my God. This is such a superior car. Unbelievable. I've had, I've had a few people message me and ask me if I'm gonna get the 11 gen. Or some people have just straight up told me like, hey, you should get the 11 gen. I don't know, man. It's, it's gonna have to be like an incredible car and it's gonna have to be a huge improvement for me to consider one. Because this is, like what more do you need, dude? Look at this thing. The auto rev match is incredible and I really wish the BRZ had it. I'm actually really disappointed it doesn't have that. And in response to that, the haters will say, that's because you don't know how to drive. You're, you're kind of right. I'm, I'm not gonna argue with you. All right, let's put her in sport mode, boys. Let's go. Oh my God. I'm not gonna floor it right now because I don't have uh, E85 mixed in. So I just have really crappy California 91 in the tank right now. I really wanna get my hands on an 11th gen SI to drive though. I wanna review one. I highly doubt I'll be able to find a dealership nearby that will allow me to just like take it out and film a video with it. So, I am once again asking for your help. If any of you guys in the Sacramento area are going to be getting the 11th gen, and you wouldn't mind me reviewing it, whoa baby, whoa baby. I would love to. I can do this. It's 429 right now. I can't remember if I got these ones in amber or white LED. These ones are obviously amber. You guys just saw that. I can't remember. I ordered these like, I don't even know, a month and a half ago or something like that. Well, since this one's already popped out. Oh yeah. Now I remember this freaking Type R, dude. The wider fenders, Honda. Just went ahead and used the same exact length uh, for this, this cord right here that connects to the light. And since the fenders are wider on the Type R, it's like an extra tight fit. These are actually a little easier to install on the non-Type R 10 Civics. Got a little flat head. And we're out. Oh, and I guess that just ripped on out of there. It's okay. Here's our replacement. And stick that in, just like that. Oh crap, I never screwed this in there. What an idiot I am. So for the driver's side one, you're gonna have it look like that. What the fuck? I just had to go back and watch my own video from March, where I first installed these on the Type R. And uh, I guess I forgot that you do have to 
unscrew these three screws right here so you can reach your hand into the fender liner. So now I am going to unplug this again. Then I'm gonna put it in. Wow, that's super nice, really smooth. I love the Unity Performance side markers. I haven't tried any other ones. I'd be open to trying some others, seeing how I like them. So now with my hand back here, holding that female end, I'm gonna shove the male end right through there. Wow, it's really not, it's really not staying in there. Every time I do something, guys, every single time I install anything on any vehicle, it's a good thing this isn't my day job. Don't quit your day job. Yeah, I'm not. You son of a fuck. Dude, why? It's in. Oh, crap. Do any of you remember when I first installed the Acuity cold air intake on my last 9th Gen SI? And right after I installed it, I didn't even put everything back together yet, and I went to, and took it for a test drive around that neighborhood right there. And before I went on that test drive, I never popped in all those little clips into the fender liner, and my fender liner frickin' fell off and I like ran over it. You guys remember that? That's crazy. I was looking at my channel the other day, and I have like 250 videos or something like that. It's a lot of footage, a lot of videos. So I haven't used my Sony a6000 in quite a while, mostly because it has the stock lens, number one, and number two, I am a complete noob when it basically comes to most things in life, uh, in this especially. So no idea what I'm doing with photography, and I try to watch some YouTube videos and they just confuse me. So if anyone has like basic instructions that would be consumable by like, I don't know, a 10 year old, then uh, please shoot me some messages and try to help me out. All I do is just put it in the, the P setting and it says program auto and I just take pictures and then I use Lightroom to edit my thumbnails. smell of it, it appears we have another fire raging in Northern California, which is just lovely. So I'm going to get you guys some exterior clips of me passing by with the Type R. Definitely not a smart idea to floor your car when the air quality is poor like this, just so you know. I'll get you one of these first. hate doing this dude. Leaving my phone on the side of the road. Right here. I have no idea where I am. I'm on the outskirts of, I think, Lincoln, California. And I'll see how we do.
We made it. My phone is still here. I get such strong anxiety from that. I just took some really cool pictures though with my Sony. Hope they come out good. That's all I have for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And we're gonna be seeing some installs soon on the Type R. Installs on the BRZ. Everything's coming together. I think it's all gonna work out. I'll see you in a couple days, guys.